days and times upon us are evil. Darkness that can be felt is upon the land, upon the nations, from one end of the earth unto the other. So many lost, so many engaging in the things that still kill and destroy. These are perilous times, lovers of self, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, unthankful, unholy. So many rejecters and haters and despisers of God's word. War with the saints is coming. It's upon the land. It's here already. It's going to manifest in its fullness. And persecution will arise. Nevertheless, fear not. For the Lord our God is with us. shall do greater things. The Lord is not going to leave his people powerless or comfortless in these times. Seek the Lord your God with all of your heart. And the more that you seek him, you will find him. And as you seek him, as you be renewed in the spirit of your mind by his word, he will drive darkness out and his word will become a lamp unto your feet. And now you begin to see things get clearer. Light illuminates everything that was dark. And the closer you get to Christ, the more and more that you press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, the clearer your vision. Cling to the word of the Lord. Take heed unto the word of the Lord. Be sober and vigilant. Be strong and of good courage. Put off the old man, the old nature, the old ways. And put on Christ in his ways. And walk in the newness of life that was given unto you. You must be born again to enter the kingdom of God. And we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived and bewitched by this prosperity gospel that is influenced by Satan that leads you up into this exceeding high mountain and shows you the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and promises you all of these things for your worship. You're worshiping an image of the beast. The rich cannot enter. Those riches will keep you from God. Repent and believe the gospel. The kingdom of God has come near to you. Forgiven you shall be forgiven. Forgiven. 